Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to show you guys how to fix the disk at zero seek error. Hold on, let me restart my computer. So, yeah. So, we got to wait for it to reboot. And I will show you how to fix that little error. All right. We got the Dell logo coming up. All right. Hold on, it's gonna take a little bit. All right. So as you can see, it says just got drive zero seek failure. Okay, what you gotta do is instead of pushing F1 to retry the boot, uh, you push F2. Alright, F2. And then it brings you to this magical booting screen. And uh, the plane's outside. Okay, so what you gotta do is I'm in the main menu. Alright, see? Main. Okay, what I do is I go down to floppy A. Uh, my computer is not supposed to have a floppy disk. It has a regular disk drive by like CDs and DVDs. Then over here we have a bunch of SD cards, XD cards, and a whole bunch of different type of memory units. Not a floppy disk. So why it's in this, I have no idea. So we are going to go press enter. And then go to dis you can disable it. All right, press enter. Then it should say disabled, floppy A. And make sure your computer doesn't have a floppy disk thing either. Alright, then go to exit and save and exit setup. Alright, yes. Then the computer shall reboot. Right, the fans are going. Heard a beep. So as you can tell, we got this little screen again. Again, it takes a little bit. All right, black screen. And there we go. Windows 8.1, the preview version, is booting up. So we didn't have to push F1 for the disk at error. So there you go. I hope this helped you out, and I will see you guys next video.